How does somebody know if they've got carotid artery disease? Can you walk around and not know it? You can, and that's part of the problem and the risk of stroke. You can sometimes hear if there's a problem in the artery at the doctor's office, or you can see with ultrasound. You can hear it? You can hear it sometimes. Well, with your ear, or you have to put a stethoscope on? You usually have to put a stethoscope but, on it. So what does it sound like? If you put a stethoscope on the neck over the carotid artery, what does it sound like? It sounds like a swooshing noise. Yeah, So, the, and that lets the doctor know there's a lot of blood coming through a little area. It does. So then what does he do if he hears a swooshing noise in the neck, what does he do to verify there's something going on? The most common next step would be an ultrasound. Ultrasound? An ultrasound. And now, what is an ultrasound in the carotid, for the carotid artery? What's it, what's, what does it do? They put a probe on your neck with some jelly, sort of like any other ultrasound, and you can see the blood flow through that artery, and you can see the speed of that blood flow change where there's a blockage. It's f relatively safe, pretty easy, and well tolerated. So that's usually the next step to go to. Will it tell you the degree of blockage or narrowing of that artery? It will give you an estimate of that. Uh -huh. You can have a category based upon the math equation of that speed of blood flow. So you can you can have a, a less than 50%, a 50 to 70%, or a greater than 70%. That's about as accurate as the test can be. When it's abnormal on one side, is it usually abnormal on the other side, or everybody's different? Everybody's different. And so if it's both sides, there's double trouble? Uh, potentially double trouble. It a little bit depends on the blockage, how much, and if it's causing you to have symptoms.